have actually finished it. For some reason, this emulator is a terrible name. Is Yaku. Uh, yes, my name is Link. I hold an R hand. Yeah. Um, now I've played this game all the way through before, and I've probably played the beginning enough times to like know it pretty well. But there we go. Our story begins not long ago. There was a young girl, savvy to the scene as a head from a band of pirates. Her name was Tetra. She was pretty brash and brave. Tetra and her handsome pirates set out to explore the vast and unfamiliar seas. One day at a stop on an island. Alright, let me fix that. Let me know how this is. After a series of strange events, the two began traveling together. They found old ruins and light envelope Tetra. At once, she transformed into a beautiful princess. Her lineage traced back to an ancient ruined kingdom. She was Princess Zelda of the Kingdom of Hyrule. Oh. Just then, a huge ominous king appeared. He appeared. He carried Princess Zelda away. Oh no. The evil king sought the sacred power passed down to Hyrulean princesses. We're not allowed to say his name, but it's secretly Ganondorf. Or Ganon? Is it just Ganon in Wind Waker? He schemed to take the power and use it himself. The boy chased after him, determined to save the princess. The boy crossed seas and climbed mountains. The journey was perilous. He slayed evil monsters and used their <laughs> power to become a true hero. Monsieur Ganon. After a long and hard adventuring, he defeated the evil king. And beautiful Princess Zelda was rescued at last. Later, the two set out with a brave pirate crew in search of new lands. Yes, they set sail together! Yay! Happy pirate ending. So this game is uh, a direct sequel to Wind Waker, and a lot of people like to call it a spin-off because it's a DS game, but it's a direct sequel to Wind Waker! So what did you think of my amazing paper cutouts? I thought they were great. That was a very cute animation, actually. Did you guess that Tetra was really Princess Zelda? No, I definitely didn't, because I'm not Link who experienced it all. Hey, Link, he's sleeping, Swabby. He's sleep Link is facing away from him and is laying face down on the ground, which makes it kind of weird that he thought that Link was paying attention. Tetra. I love Tetra. I drew her a lot when I was younger. I drew so much Tetra. She's great. Stop messing around down there. I had so much trouble with her zigzag bangs. Not bangs. Side... Side burns. Her zigzag side burns. That's the right word. At that spot in the sea... And we're not allowed to call her Zelda. This is where the ghost ship is said to appear. Stay on the lookout for a creepy looking ship! Stay on the lookout for any ship. Honestly, we're in the middle of the ocean. I think encountering any ship, specifically without any planning, would be a little weird. That's right, Nico, and I misread that as Neko for a second. <laughs> Every ship disappears, and it's all because of that scary ghost ship. Ocean King. 
I would love to meet the Ocean King. That's how everyone dies in horror movies. Tetra. That's how everyone dies in horror movies. Take a detour. see a ship up ahead. Ooh. And we've got weird chanting music. My favorite. That's an audio glitch. That's definitely an audio glitch. Whoops. I have no idea how to fix that and I'm sorry. The weird like static underlying it. God, I love it though. I love that those weird eyes. The eye headlights. It's the ghost ship. Oh, the Ocean King is protecting it. It's fine. The Ocean King is definitely fine and protecting things. And there's no conflict in this story and there's no problems. So everything's fine and we're just gonna hang out on this ship for a while. concerning. Still love those eyes, still hate this weird static. Not a fan, not a fan. Holy ship! It's an unholy ship. Definitely an unholy ship. Oof. For some reason, if you skip the paper cutout scene, what it skips to is not like the part after the paper cutout scene, it's actually skips straight to this. So you're like, oh, I don't want to see this dumb paper cutout scene. And then suddenly you see like Tetra just getting dragged away by magic purple tornado, which is great. <clears throat> there she go. If you're not moving, you're dead. Which is probably true, because if you're not moving, you're also not breathing. I don't know how to pronounce it. See, I forgot that she had- it was I-E and not E-I. Is it Sila? Ciela? I always, like, thought it was Celia or something, which is wrong. Ciela. Ciela. I'll say Ciela. She's great. I love her. Woo. Yeah. Yes, that's what happened. And I said it all with my mouth. And my words that I have and say and use. Grandpa will know about it. Oh, good. But why will your grandpa know how to help you if he couldn't I mean he couldn't get your memory back? Could he? Thank you. That's some real life advice right there. Womp womp. Wait. Up, yep, yep, yep. Okay. We're good. We're good. Ooh. One little icon on top of the house. Hi. Oshis is a very normal name. S 
Si ahí le. Si ahí le. Yep, that's that's. Was she wait? How did she tell you if Ciel was like just leading me into into here? How did she tell you about everything that happened to me? There's a lot of things that I didn't think about when I first played through this game, but they're definitely logic errors. But Grandpa, pure evil. Wonder why it does that. That's why we have to do something. No mercy, actually. Yes, I am going to give up. Thank you. I'm a young people. I don't know how old Link is in this in Wind Waker Phantom Hourglass. Is he like. 10. Didn't he turn- what was it? He had a birthday in Wind Waker, but did it say how old he was? Was he like 10? He's a baby. Alright, let's go to the harbor. This is a cutscene, so I can't mark my map during it, which is kind of weird. We'll go with Link and show him who he is. Alright, thanks. Yay. She's excited. I will not be careful. Thank you very much for the offer. Earthquake. It happened because I landed on the ground, obviously. There's- I'm actually just extremely heavy. But very strong, so I can lift my dense titanium legs. Is titanium heavy? I don't remember that either. Hi. Thanks for the tutorial. Alright. Everyone wants to tell you to tap things. There's also somersaulting in this game, which is very hard to do, and they fixed it in Spirit Tracks by making it like a double tap in a direction, but now it's, uh, you have to make circles on the screen in the direction that you want to go, and it is even harder once you get a sword, because once you get a sword, um, it, it starts thinking that you're doing spin attacks instead of somersaults half the time, and it's just, it's just a real pain, because it, it can't detect your circles a lot of the time, either. So very dangerous. So the ghost ship is near here and it's stealing people, which is... What? You can't just respawn these rock... God damn it. I didn't know those rocks actually respawned. If you... I guess if you don't claim the reward before you... Because I think that they're gone if you, like, leave and come back after. Go bash it really hard. Alright. Menu. Map. Let's do a little straw a little bit right there. Alright. Thank you for the tip. Yep, I gotcha. I'm already ahead of you. I'm a Phantom Hourglass veteran. Oh, not this way. You wanna go to cross the bridge that I see right here. But there's no bridge. Gosh, just the one the one just now. Oh yeah, I think if you... I don't remember. I feel like if you go over here before the earthquake, like before you go into the house, you get stopped before you... Like, Sila stops you and makes you go to the house. Which is unfortunate, because you could just skip through like a whole tutorial part of the game by doing that, but no. That would be silly. Monsters ahead. Alright, cool. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Let's go steal things. Let's go steal weapons. I love weapons and theft. Let's see. Uh, what's the... I think I'd go to Osh's next. Yes, I did. Sila, why would, why would he tell Sila not to go that way if she could just fly across the broken bridge? Cave up to the north leads to the port, but it's like a longer path, and we have to. We need a weapon to do it, obviously. This game is fun because you can pick up and throw things to break them. Including barrels and also rocks. And I only just now realized that throwing rocks gives you a two-dimensional rock-breaking effect. There's a sword back there. He cracks open the door by writing a number on the sign. It's the number of palm trees on the beach. Alright. And there are seven. Probably because that's like the easiest number to detect. Although there is some other symbol detection in this game, so I guess I can't really say that, can I? Yes! I love swords. I love to stab things. Money. That was some good luck. That was like two blue rubies. It's pretty solid. Unfortunately, you cannot stab barrels open because they are made of wood, which is not as sword breakable. Unless your sword happens to be a saw blade or a chainsaw. So then stop hold holding us with your hand. No, that's a bad. That was a bad sentence. We can't abandon Tetra! Alright. Okay, so let's get that sword tutorial. Actually, let me fix something. Let me fix the shadows. Uh, one sec. Whew. Let me see. Let's see if this fixes it. Okay, that's a little bit better having a gra graphic glitch on the shadows and I think it's still happening but not as much Link even the best swords can be bad all right so this so this will like just do a little slash if you're near something but if you're far enough it'll do a jump and slash attack uh, and the side slash can also be a forward slash, like a poke and a side slash are like the same thing. And I think I think for the targeted attack it'll actually do more damage if you end up doing the jump the jump and throw. I'm not sure what it is. He'll actually stop you from hitting him, which is great. Not most NPCs don't react. Stop. That's also a thing. It'll confuse your spin attacks for somersaults in the other direction as well. You can get dizzy if you do four spin attacks or four somersaults in a row. Alright, let's go! I do want to get as much money as possible though because I would like to have 80 rupees um, by the time I've finished with this island. So I can buy something. 580 would be ideal, but you know, I'll probably get the other thing, the 500 rupee thing later. And what's also interesting is like you can't really or can you? You can. You can target attack trees. I thought that you could only target attack monsters, but I might be thinking of something else. 
But either way, it is more effective to do uh, slash attacks on these because it can get more than one, potentially. Oh, I'm having that sound glitch again. Okay. It's a fun sound. Thanks for drawing my attention to that very obvious locked door. Give me that blue rupee. Give me this. A lot of fun sound effects that you will get very sick of eventually. So, like, in the side rooms you'll have little tablets that are like, oh, the you pull the second lever first, and you pull the third lever fourth, and whatever. Um, and if you pull the levers, like all four levers, in the wrong order, you will get snakes. So I'm just going to pull them in the right order. And get the key! Very fun. Very entertaining gameplay. Of course, this is tutorial level, so you gotta just learn how the things work. He's mice. What's funny about mice is like they kind of act regardless of you. Like they'll walk over you, but not like maliciously. They just don't care. Except for the um, the mouse with a key on it, which you can see moving around on the map as well as in front of me, because the map tells you where keys are if they're out in the open. Um, so you have to go ahead and cover up this mouse hole, and then hide over here and corner it. And then get that key, and I think this mouse is also guaranteed to drop a heart, because I've never seen it not drop a heart with the key. Which is interesting. I'm not allowed to write on this map, apparently. I didn't know that. And it's cool how your map keeps that little icon of like where the door that just opened was, because sometimes if you, sometimes you do things that open doors um, away from where you are in like later sections of the game. God, I'm having great aim today. But you can't actually kill bats with rocks. It's pretty good. Keys, I mean. They're not bats, they're keys. I love the textures on the buildings in this, uh, on like the roofs and the icons of them in this, uh, in Mer Merca. It's Merca Island, I think. Um, it's they're nice. They're nice. They're pretty. You know, low graphic just because this game is low graphics, but it's pretty. And we gotta, we gotta find Linebeck, who is some kind of chicken, I guess. Like this! Like this chicken, which I'm gonna get. You just corner it, and then you can run over here. Uh, to get, yeah, a random low-value treasure. Like, it'll, I think it's always a 50 rupee treasure, but like, just now when I was playing the beginning of this game, I got um, a bug in amber. So I think it's always a 50 rupee value. Treasure. Which is the lowest one? God, I'm so close to getting a shield and I would like one. Can I even- am I allowed to buy one? No. More rubies! 
Oh, yep, there we go. Okay, now I can get a shield. Now I can get a shield and something else that costs six rupees, which is nothing. Give me the shield. Thank you. It's funny that she'll actually sell bomb refills uh, before you get bombs in the game. So like you're not actually allowed to buy bombs unless you have a bomb bag, which is interesting because you don't get a bomb bag until like after the, or like in the second, second boss area. Um, so it's funny that they kind of tease you with that. Uh, okay, I gotta, so Asha said that this ship had Linebeck by it. Linebeck, my favorite character! This is not him. This is a guy who just really likes Linebeck's ship. He's seen the whole world, but not defeat. Hmm. Well, then you haven't seen the whole world, have you? So he's in the bar, which I think in my first playthrough took me, like, it took me so long to figure out where the bar was for some reason. That's a full offense taken, thank you. More than welcome, but you've gone a little further in life. They say it's a milk bar. And all I want is milk, and they're telling me that I can't have milk until I'm an adult, and that's what milk bars are. Um, it's where they act, they pretend that milk is alcohol. That's what it is in real life, definitely. So he went up north towards the Temple of the Ocean King, which is, uh... <laughs> Alright, I will definitely steer clear of there, and definitely not go there for sure. Absolutely not, sir. I would never betray you. I'm just heading up north, um, because I left my keys up here, in this place I've never been to. We're slamming and we're jamming and we're bamming and this crow will steal your money. If you let it peck you, it'll steal rubies. Uh, yeah, this is the tree, so that's an interesting texture glitch. Um, so you can see on the map, this is where I drew that circle from that guy who I helped with the rocks. And uh, <laughs> we zoomed into the tree. The camera zoomed into the tree when I got the rupee. Uh, but yeah, I got a hundred rupees. From this tree. And these are also interesting. The... Wait, what? Good qual- it's just- it's the best camera. And you can run around here, actually, before you get into, like, I think it's... Oh, I'm having the texture glitch again. Oh, you can hop that way? That's funny. Having some texture glitches again. I'm wondering if I can... I'm gonna see if I can, like, turn up the setting that fixes this a little bit, maybe. Is this? Yeah, alright, that fixes it. Okay. So, cutscene. That's a cool looking symbol and I like it. The mighty ocean king. It, <laughs> the temple has fallen into ruin and it ruins any people who enter. But we have to find line back. Alright, let's do it. I see a suspicious object up there. Could it possibly, uh, t tidy, do you say, do you say titular? Tidial? Tight? The tight 
titular object. That's such a that's such a word. Someone's skeleton. Oh no. What's weird about this is that like she gets creeped out by it, but then also you can talk to the ghost. Ooh. Should have made notes on my map. Oh no, I can't write on maps because they have icons on them and I'm I'm a treasure hunter who likes to follow the rules. Is that right? <laughs> Oh man. Oh, I forgot the save zone graphics are so weird. And it'll actually show my uh, my icon on the map is this like glowing flickering purple as well. Uh, which is real fun. Ooh, more shadow glitches. Oh. Ooh, I don't know if it's good to like keep turning up this setting that like supposedly fixes the shadows. Because it does fix the shadows. So. But if I keep turning it up, does it, like, develop tolerance? Or <laughs> is it just that I keep getting into worse and worse areas because that's how the game works? Because this is a graphically heavier place. It's got fog and stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> it's, it's Lineback. He's my favorite character. What is he screaming about? I don't know. <laughs> God, he's great. Ah, uh, no way. <laughs> I love his, like, offended face. Yeah, sure. All right, I'm gonna do something about those spikes, which will like hurt if I if I get in there. So, or if I if I touch them, like you cannot go through spikes and they hurt. All right, I forgot already that those have ups. Oh, <laughs> the ghost told us outside, Ziella. Only sometimes. It'll only suck the life out of you when it feels like it. And it can only feel like it when you're not in purple. Yes, I got all that. Alright, so we go, I think it's this way. So it takes so it takes health uh, away from you just like a quarter at a time. Uh, oh yeah. This is a fun chest. I just like that sound that I just like that sound. Law yep, the temple is in fact uh lawful evil. It's uh you know, it's like it's murderous, but it's chill and it'll tell you the rules about it. Alright. Got down the spikes. Is there a weird second where the front one was down but not the back one? Or is or am I just nuts? I'm just nuts, probably. Womp. Give me them hearts. He did say that. And he's walking just fine. His theme is also very good, and I remember listening to it on loop a whole lot <laughs> when I was younger. And this was, like, the only game that I played. I am pretty brave for anyone. Don't insult me. Why is everyone insulting my height? <laughs> Thanks. That is a weird name. Your name is not much better. It has, like, the first three letters in common. You're just insulting yourself by saying Link is a weird name. Your name might as well be Link back. No, that sounds like a ship and I'm gonna stop. That's bad. That's a bad... That's... Bad. Smooth sailing for me in the beginning. 
And I got myself stuck in that trap. All right. What are you doing at a place like this? I am looking for the ghost ship. He has a weird cat face. He's like, he's doing the, um, colon three face, but with, but with, but with sad eyes. <laughs> he's doing a sad colon three. It's like, it's like, it's like that. He definitely sprained his ankle. Ow, his ankle! <laughs> he got us all dizzy. So this is, I think that like this very short period of time is like the only two weird chest openings in the game, or like the funniest two ones at least. There's the empty treasure chest and then there's this one. <laughs> He's... He's trying to push the, the life back into me. <laughs> Alright. Um, so actually, if it's fun if you open this chest. Um, like, if you leave this chest closed and then you open it after. Um, it'll, instead of saying like, huh, it's a locked chest, someone must have gotten to it. It'll say, oh, it's a locked chest. This must be, like, Linebeck must have gotten it. Which is cool. Oh, right, we gotta go fast. We gotta go fast, y'all. And that one's a trapdoor, so I do actually have to wait for this. Because <laughs> this over here is a trapdoor, and I will... see. Ow. Oh god. Don't. Got a C chart. All right. I would say that most maps are pretty good clues. If I'm being, if I'm being honest. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna post about this. Uh, I'm gonna link this stream on my Tumblr real quick. Give me one sec. gonna the game's probably slowing down for a sec but uh don't worry about it it'll be fine in a second
And that's done. Okay. Uh, let's go and check out Limebeck. And also, this registers as a door on our map, but who knows how to get through there, right? Wonder what that symbol could possibly mean. And Linebeck is gone because Linebeck's Linebeck. <laughs> you go, Ciela. It's that weird wind effect that just sounds like a person making a sound. If it isn't the little monkey and his twinkly pal. Slow. Back to his ship, huh? Why would he? But he, that would imply that your ship is in danger, Linebeck. A map. A treasure map. Rude. Definitely. Let's head back. Let's go fight him at his ship. Let's fight the man. Fight the guy. Whoop. Womp. Trying to fix a thing. Here we go. And Ashes is here. How did he get here? The bridge is still broken. Never mind, it wasn't. It was fixed. Still. Still. I mean, I did sail across the seven seas on a lion man. Anyone who... <laughs> You're a wreck. Oh man. I love actually all of the characters in this conversation. The fair, the Ciela and Linebeck and Oshis. They're very good, and I love them. He said it was a treasure map, and now he's saying that it has no secrets. Oh no, I don't know if... Oh, I don't know if this takes in microphone. Oh shoot. I don't know if this emulator takes microphone input, actually. I'm kind of worried. Actually, it might be fine. Oh, right, right, right. It's not- this one doesn't- isn't the one that requires microphone input. Which makes me even worried for later. Even more worried for later. Ooh, it's that symbol. It's that same symbol. Fortune teller named Astrid lives there. Alright. Oh, good. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Does it, is it like, do I have to do a setting or is it just there all the time? Ciela. Might get her lost memories. Oh, yay. Right, because Ciela lost her memories. I wonder what could possibly have caused something like that to happen. Very mysterious. He has to haul around that bit of fluff. Uh, yeah, I am ready, actually. Woo! Let's go! Okay. So basically, he's gonna, like, run the ship, and I'm gonna tell it where to go. And I'm gonna just go straight to our destination. Right there. So you actually have to trace the 
the pen to the anchor icon on the island. You cannot just run up to an island. You have to actually go to where the dock is or there won't be a place to dock. Stop, stop, go to go. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. And, uh, you can tell it where to go. Oh yeah, there's frog. There's a frog, a good golden frog. And it appears like right in this area all the time. All right. Let's go. I love him. Helmsmanship. He was. <laughs> who drew? Who drew? Who drew a line on our map for you to follow? I mean, like to be fair, he technically was the one who did the sailing. So, Ciela is feeling betrayed. I'm sure. I'm sorry. Be waiting here, attending to the needs of my fine vessel. He's never scared. Ba -ba -ba. So this is Astrid's house, which is interesting. And that's a monster door, which means you gotta kill everything in the room before you are allowed to, um, leave. Oh boy. Hey! 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 Let me see if... Oh god. Now I actually have to do the thing. Um... Microphone settings. Okay. Where's the... Hello? Where's the mic hockey? <laughs> um, control. Um, I don't know what the default mic hotkey is, so I'm gonna... Sorry? Oh, hockey config. Okay, okay, okay. Microphone, give me. Uh, one. Okay. Hey! That didn't do anything. Hey! Oh. Oh god. Hey. 
Hello. Hello. And it's not picking up my mic. All right. Hey. 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 Where is it? Microphone settings. Oh, there we go. Yay. <laughs> Good job. She locked herself in her room and she can't get out. Uh, no, I won't. <laughs> sure, I'm a, she's a fairy and she'll grant my wishes, obviously. It's not like I already have a fairy. K.O. K.O. Oh my god, it's the kid from that TV show. It's K. It's okay, K.O. We have to find him. Let's find OKKO. Okay, and so the shield is really good because it'll basically like block basic attacks from the front. So like you can do this and it'll kind of push him back. Um. And you can play this game without a shield, but it's a huge pain. And these guys are, uh, these spider guys are funny because like they won't actually actively attack you, but they do act regardless of you. Ooh, another ghost. Oh my god. She was so startled by, she was so like not startled by the, um, what am I saying? But the ghosts in the in the Ocean King's temple, but not but apparently this guy's just like the most startling thing. Kao, what happened to you? Alright. So basically, you gotta know where all of the torches in this island are. Which is not too hard. And I happen to already know, I think, all of them. I want to say the other one is in this house. If not, it's in the other house. Nope, it's in this house. Okay. Which is tricky. It's really funny that they put one of them inside the house, because that can definitely throw someone off. So... We've got one here, one here, and one right there. 
I that's a bad sentence to say. Don't say that. Don't ever say that. Unless it's in a specific context. <laughs> um Thank you for opening the door. I'm finally free to go outside again. You bested the monsters who guarded me. Guarded you. So you are no ordinary traveler. She did not hire good monsters to guard her. Because they were just kind of like walking around shooting rocks at like whatever wall or thing was nearest. Uh, of course. You can have my name. That's fine. Kindness, kindness and strength in the same breath. Thank you. Uh, a ship. was destiny. She can just go talk to like he's still a ghost. She can just go talk to him. It's totally chill. She could like move his bones into her house and like they could hang. Uh yes. Also, how did he die? Did he just like stand did he just like turn into bones on that spot or someone who sees the future would be on time. So we did go and like I guess tell Linebeck that we're gonna get a fortune. Open my eyes to the future, a sinister darkness, the mighty sea, and the voice of sacred light. I see it, I shall speak, listen with your hearts. If you really want to find the ghost ship, Link, you must be ready to clash with the very darkness itself. Knowing that, do you still want to rescue Tetra? Yikes, but yes. Oh, very nice. The honesty in your eyes is crystal clear. Okay, so there's a Temple of Fire, which is, like, obviously the kind of weird-looking fiery doorway on the uh, map. And then you'll find something that you need, which is cool. All right. Thanks, Linebeck. Do, do, do. So this door actually, like, it used to be electrified, now it is not. Um, because Astrid led us through, and we have to wait for this thing to not be electrified, or it will hurt us. Because that is a, that is a yellow choo-choo. Do you say yellow choo-choo or electric choo-choo? Because they're, because the other ones were red choo-choos. Huh. The positions of those four rocks are always scripted, but I think the rest of them are randomized. Uh, so basically you just gotta avoid falling rocks and go around to this whole spiral. Um, oof. Okay. I wonder if this sound effect sounds anything like blowing. It does not. I've gotta make a blowing sound effect. Give me a...
Um, I have no idea how, uh... Because it seems like... This does not want to respond to my settings, so it seems like I may need to take a break and figure out how to do this and then come back! So, um... Well, sorry for that ending. I was hoping to get through this temple before we stopped, but you know what? All right. S see you later. Want to figure this out? Thanks for thanks for thanks for thanks for coming. Thanks for coming.